Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today we're going to be going over how to convert your ESD file to a WIM image. Now, the ESD file is something new within our Windows 10 operating system that Microsoft has been pushing out. The problem is that a lot of us are using WDS to push out our images, and WDS does not support ESD, which sucks. So, uh, it's really simple to convert your ESD to a WIM image, real easy. So, the first thing that you need to do is let me open up my Fire Explorer. I'm going to go to this PC and my C drive. I created a folder called Win 10 and within Win 10, I just dropped everything uh, within the ISO, the Windows 10 ISO inside this folder. Uh, you go to sources and you go to install, uh, install.esd. That's supposedly the compressed version of the WIM image. Make a copy of this. Uh, within my C drive, I created a folder called ESD, and I dropped that ESD file in there, okay? Separate this ESD file from the original one. Make sure that the machine that you're converting this ESD to a WIM image has the latest and greatest Windows ADK installation, okay, that supports Windows 10. I already installed it inside this Windows 10 machine that I have. I already have it installed, so go to all apps. As you can see, I have the Windows Assessment Console, Performance Record, and all that other stuff that, you know, it comes with the installation. So, next thing that we need to do is right-click on your start, and we need to do a command prompt as an admin. And we need to get into our uh, folder that we created, the ESD folder, or whatever name that you gave it. So, I'm going to do CD c colon backslash esd there we go and we're going to clear it out awesome now there's two commands that you need one command is you're going to be checking the information of the esd to figure out which operating system you're going to be converting into so i have a cheat sheet i love using cheat sheets and again i will be placing the cheat sheet at the bottom of the video at the description part and it's going to take you to my site just copy and paste it and change it the way that you know it's going to work on your environment uh, so I'm going to double click on my cheat sheet and the first command is this guy. So we're using DISM. We're going to be using the commandlet of get win info and then another commandlet of win file and the file that we're going to be using, which is the install.esd file. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it and hit enter. So what this is going to do is it's going to give us some information on our ESD file. What we're looking for is the index number. Now this ESD file is providing me two versions of Windows 10. One is the pro version and one is the home edition version. We, I, For me, I'm going to do index one because it is the pro version. Second command that we need to do is this guy right here. We're using the DISM utility with the parameter of export the image, right? Uh, another parameter of source image file, which is our ESD. Uh, the source index, again, really depends on what operating system you're doing within your ISO. I'm doing index 1. We're doing a destination image file parameter, which is the install.wim. That's the name of the WIM file that we want, right? We're compressing it, and then we're checking the integrity. So I'm going to actually copy this, and I'm going to paste it. Now, I had issues in the past, and for some reason it was giving me that the user map issues or something like that. If you do get that problem, just restart your machine to flush it out and then just start this uh, this command again. Now, if everything works well, you're going to see the option that says exporting image. Uh, the last time I tried it, it errored out on me saying that the user map was being used. Like I said before, I restart it and I reran it again and it worked for me. But just just stay there until don't walk away because eventually when it hits two percent three percent that means it's working it takes a while for the esd to convert to a WIM image so just be patient all right guys once it's completed once the esd file is converted into a WIM image you want to take that WIM image and then place it inside the source folder okay so again once this esd conversion is done see the WIM image is right here you want to take this WIM image Go back into your original source right here, go to sources, and then drop it in there, okay? And then you basically do whatever you need to do within WDS or within your MDT environment or your SCCM environment. So let's check the command prompt. Looks like it's still 1%. All right, so it changed to 2%. That is a good thing, all right? Again, like I said before, it arrowed out on me on 1%, and it's because it said something about um, 
map source or map user source was locked or something just restart it and just run the command again and then you're good to go hopefully you guys enjoy this video on how to convert your esd file into a wim image to deploy within your wds or your mdt or your sccm leave comments right below again i will be placing the link at the bottom of the video at the description part uh giving you these little two commands to copy and paste and i catch you guys on the next one peace out